If you're watching this video, I'd be willing to bet you think you are a Star Wars fan. But are you really? You probably watch Star Wars content creators on YouTube, might even subscribe to some. Maybe you formed an emotional attachment to them. I want you to ask yourself, Are you a Star Wars fan or a Star Wars YouTuber fan? It's an honest question. I ask this because I'm starting to wonder about many people in the Star Wars fandom. Are they a fan of Star Wars or the guy that talks about Star Wars? If you aren't familiar with my channel, I expose other Star Wars channels in violation of the Melvin Code. If they are a Disney shill or clickbait, I will make several videos about them exposing every detail. One of the channels in violation of the Melvin Code is Star Star Wars Theory. Star Wars Theory is a Disney shill. He's a giant Disney shill. Does that bother you when I say that? Are you mad, bro? Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm just full of shit. You want to strike me down with all of your hate? What if I supplied video evidence of Star Wars Theory being a Disney shill, and I perfectly cut it up for you, him stating he liked each of the movies, defending Kathleen Kennedy? People can change, okay? So, I'm going to say that before I tell you how I really feel about it. People can change, and there's always going to be a room for improvement, no matter what. Would that make you think twice about theory? Would that open your eyes to his shill activities? Or are you the type to refuse to watch the video and cry in the comments? I run into all sorts of theory shills. The evidence is right in front of their face, and they refuse to see it. Then you have the theory divas, the ones that have total meltdowns and just want to cry in the comments. I shit you not, every one of them always start out with, Hey, I don't like the sequel trilogy, but Theory Man, he's a good guy. If you are defending a Disney shill, what does that make you? Now, I believe most are just misinformed. They come to the video already triggered, they watch two seconds of it, and then they start crying. But there are some that do claim to have watched the video and complain in the comments and present to me extreme mental gymnastics. The evidence is right in front of their face, but they just want to ignore it and, and twist it into theory's favor. And I just want to know why. What? Why are they defending a Disney shill? They watch the videos and come to the conclusion Hey man, people can change their mind. Maybe if you are a regular dude, you can say you liked a movie and then not like it a month later. But when you are the biggest Star Wars channel and you say you love the movie in several videos, you even made a video saying, hey, I'm not a Disney show, I love the movie. <laughs> and on top of that, you made content to push the sequel trilogy. You don't get a pass. You don't get to change your mind. That's like if I started making pro sequel trilogy videos next week. Hey guys, it's Grandmaster Melvin of the Jedi Order. <laughs> May I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> now, I know I was very critical of this movie when it came out, but I am entitled to change my opinion whenever it's convenient for me. This is a business. It isn't some fan fucking around on a little channel talking about Star Wars. And in this business, you can be corrupted. And Star Wars Theory was corrupted by Disney and shilled hard for them. The evidence is all there. You just gotta be willing to take the red pill. I've said it before, you watch the videos, you still wanna watch Star Wars Theory, whatever. There's rumors he plagiarizes Wikipedia articles, but he has a legit channel. If you ignore nor the shilling for Disney. I mean, it's not like every video he shills for Disney. So watch my vids, take it all in, and still decide to watch Theory, whatever. I don't care. But don't come in the comments acting like you're a Theory expert. Unless you watch my playlist, you're really not qualified to speak on the subject. They're always like, he said this, he said that. I know every fucking thing he said because I'm powerful on the dark side of the force. I engage with some people, but they really don't know what they're talking 
talking about. And most of them don't want to know. They just want to cry. And it just makes me think, interacting with people, I don't know if people are really fans of Star Wars. I think they have more of an emotional connection to the Star Wars YouTuber. Maybe it's just theory where people like him more than actual Star Wars. I'm trying to clean up the Star Wars fandom. I'm trying to get the sequel trilogy retcon. I'm actively trashing Disney as much as possible. This guy shills for Disney. He lied about liking the sequels. He lied about not knowing the sequels had no plan. Everyone knew they had no plan. And after Gina Carano was fired, Theory didn't push for Kathleen Kennedy to be fired. He defended her and said people can change. Then he's having sequel fans on his live streams. Tell me about how you like the sequel trilogy. Well, I really like The Rise of Skywalker. It was neato. And then Theory's just like, yeah, that's cool, because I'm really tolerant. <laughs> I don't want to lose you as a subscriber. <laughs> My name is Josh from Den of Nerds, and I'm a total sequel cuck and a Theory shill. <laughs> now, Theory's hated by the Social Justice Weenie sequel-loving group, but that's because they hate everything. But the other sequel lovers... Theory doesn't want to possibly lose them as subscribers. Theory also doesn't want to trash Disney because he's either currently on the circus film payroll or he doesn't want to burn the bridge because he wants to work at circus film. Meanwhile, this behavior from the largest Star Wars channel hurts the overall brand because instead of raging against Disney, he calms people. He tells them it's going to be okay when it's not. They are going to make direct sequels to the Rise of Skywalker unless we stop them. Theory has no intention of getting in the way of circus film making more episodes with Rey Skywalker. So if you're cool with that, I guess you've answered my question. Are you a Star Wars fan or a Star Wars YouTuber fan? 75% of the Star Wars fandom doesn't like the sequel trilogy, but maybe less than 50% actually want to do something about it. The other half are content with the sequels, even if they don't like them. And that is unacceptable. It's not too late to change, call out these YouTubers, and join the movement to hashtag retcon the sequel trilogy. I am growing stronger in the dark side every day, but I need more knights. Become a knight, subscribe to the channel, join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills. Dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider. Un